Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and today I'm going to continue the series and share with you the new Reloaded palettes from Revolution today. I'm going to be sharing with you the Hypnotic palette and this one looks like this. So the packaging has that clear window, you've got that black shiny banding there and then on the back you have the sticker with all of your information. So brand name, palette name, it, that it's cruelty free, just cruelty free on this one, doesn't mention vegan, you've got the ingredients and you've got the shades all numbered. Then looking at the actual amount of product, you've got a net weight of, so you're getting 15 pans at 0 0.04 ounces or 1.1 gram of product. Opening it up, you have these 15 pans. Now, a lot of you contacted me when I originally shared all four of the palettes uh, a few days ago and mentioned that you thought this one was very reminiscent of the ABH Sultry palette. I don't have that palette to compare, but I have taken a look at it and I must admit that all of these neutrals with that pop of, I don't know, is it a peachy coral there? Really is reminiscent of that palette, but the difference is of course that this one is only four pounds rather than 45, 46 pounds I think, either 43, I know the new one was 46 and I was quite surprised by that, but anyway, around about that mid 40 pounds price range. But this one is four pounds. I love these reloaded palettes and I know you do too. So let's get on to swatches and then of course, I'm going to share with you a look. So I'm going to do five at a time as always. So you've got a real mix here of mattes and shimmers. Looking good so far. Okay. Okay, so here's the first five. So you've got this shimmery neutral brown. You've got a matte, that one's obviously shimmer. That one is a matte and that is your, I would say it could be a base for me, but more into the crease I would say, depending obviously on how it appears on the eye. But from the swatch, it looks like it's going to be a crease shade rather than transitional for me. Then you have this shade, which is, I don't know, is it a bronzy neutral brown? that's a shimmer and you've also got this shimmer now I've seen this shade in other palettes or I don't know the um, formula anyway in other palettes and it goes on very differently to say this one it's very very sheer um, and it's one of those shades that you could really I don't know pop onto either the inner corner or perhaps on the middle of the lid but when you first look at it you think that is totally different than the formula to this. It's very thin and you can see the consistency is definitely different. This one was very thick um, and you really get that you know, full impact. Whereas this one is very thin, sheer, but it still gives you that shimmer. And this is what we, Revolution, I was gonna say Reloaded. Revolution gives us, they gives us, they give us a plenty of formulas. And then the last one from row one is a matte, very intense. I hardly actually got any product on and it really was an intense, you know, shade. So that's your first row. I'm just gonna, where's my wipe? Clean my hand actually. Now we're going into that all important second row with that peachy coral shade. Okay. Whoops, I've made a mistake there. Let me just start again. What I've done is I've um, I've swatched a very light shade and then I've gone over it with a um, the second shade because I can hardly see it. So let me start again with that. Make sure I remember that there is a very, there we go. That's better. Beautiful, that one. Oh, love that. Just going to, actually, no, that's fine. There's one shade in here that I love already. Okay, 
So this is the, your next five. You've got that matte. You can hardly see it. There is a shade there. This is my problem when I swatched over it with that one. But there is a shade there. I'll show you the second row. You can see what I mean. It's that one there. It is on my arm, but it is so much like my skin color that you can hardly see it. The next one is that shade. It's like a peach shimmer. This is that shade that I really like the look of. It's very in your face, but it's beautiful, absolutely stunning. There's that matte uh, peachy coral shade that's in your face in the middle, so different. And then that is your last shade, very much one of those blue silver shades. So that's your first two rows. I'm now going into the last row. I'm gonna swatch it. Where shall I swatch this one? Is it oh, here so you can see it? Again, I'm going to start again because I've got some silver mixed in there. Clean my finger. Here we go. I want to make sure that you get a real, you know, the a good first impression rather than mixers. Again, I don't know. That one's got some. I'll start again with that one as well. It's the black and it had a streak of gold running through it. I don't usually have this problem, but I'm having problems this morning. Now I've got black all over my arm. There, try again. I can see what I've done. I've actually got the black everywhere. Okay, <laughs> that is the problem with black eyeshadow, isn't it? Right, let's go in that again. That's better. Okay. I love that. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. I think that would have gone all around my arm. I'm going to do that one again. Okay. So this is the last row. A few problems there because the black in particular was so pigmented. It then, well, it's still actually all over my hand. There we go. Okay. So this one is the first one from row three. That is beautiful, isn't it? I mean, gorgeous and gold. This is your black, obviously matte. Then we have a matte. I really like the color of this one. It matches beautifully with that first shade, but obviously that shimmer, that's matte. This one, wow, that could have gone on and on and on. Um, I'm just gonna look in the palette. It's like a coppery brown. I can't always see properly in the viewfinder. And then this one is the one that I had to double up. It's like a grey lilac, um, a little bit sheer. And that one is matte as well. So there are all of your, so row one, row two, and then row three. I really like the mix in here. You seem to have uh, warms, cools, and then you have that pop of, you know, I'm calling it a peachy coral. Um, but yeah, you, you have a real mix in this one. So if you like those shades from that sultry palette, I think you're going to love these. It's giving me the same kind of vibes. Um, okay, so let's now get on with the actual look. I'm just going to pop my hair back as always. I always get a lot of comments about my cat ears or my lace ears. If you too like this, I actually picked it up a while ago now from New Look. So obviously do check out New Look if you're interested in these cat ears. And it all, this also came in uh, black as well as this beautiful blush pink. Now, what shades am I gonna start off with? Hmm. I think I'm going to go in with this one first of all to give me that base. And I'm using, of course, the Primark Eye Contour Brush. Uh, again, a little bit dusty in that first pan. Um, what I have noticed is that there is not that many transitional shades. You've got that one, obviously, to um, perhaps you know lay your base, lay it on top of the base, and then you've got that. Where's that lilac? gray you've got that one there but these are a little bit deep as a transition so I'm going to have to really blend these out um, I've also got some fallout 
brushes away beautifully though no issues with you know streaks um, but yeah a little bit deep but blending out yeah I'm just going to get a second brush and just blend that line out just because it's not blending out as neatly and nicely as I you know with this one because I've got pigment on it obviously so but that's perfect it's now blended out beautifully just going into that shade picking up the excess the fallout on my brush and then of course going on to the second lid you can see how pigmented that is I hardly picked up any it was just the fallout but it does blend out nicely again I'm going to get that brush and just blend that edge a little bit like that that's better in fact I'm going to bring this one up a little bit higher that's perfect I'm also going to with that second fluffy brush this is actually just a brush out of one of my eyeshadow palettes I'm just going to go into that shade there if you do go up too high and you feel that there's too much color there then just go into a very light shade that's going to match your you know whatever's going to match your skin tone and just then brush that over that area and you'll get a nice little blend there so that blends out that line okay now going back in with the eye contour brush now what I, th um, I can see from this palette is that there's a lot of neutrals apart from obviously that peach some or peachy coral I'm calling it I'm going to go into that coral shade and see what it does to this neutral brown very dusty but just want to see what the mix does hmm that's actually not too bad it's a nice pigmented shade I'm going to take that all the way through I would have preferred a lighter transitional shade so we can build up this crease and I think that that grey shade would be a little bit too light for me at the moment I'm not I'm not particularly sure about this but hopefully it will all come together at the end mm. that's better I think go a little bit heavier here on this side because that first shade was so dark it really overtook and overshadowed everything I'm going to go under the eye with the coral mm. nice okay I'm just gonna <laughs> blow the dust away because that coral shade was a little bit dusty um, but you know it's worked beautifully a lot of pigment um, okay now I need to deepen that up a little bit and then I'll think about the crease shade um, hmm. I don't know I wish I'd have gone in with that grey now um, I just feel that this colour has really overtook everything I'm going to see if I can go over the top um, with a little bit of that grey lilac and see what that does no it now just looks very muddy on the lid um, I'm going to go in with a deeper shade I'm going to go in with that one there and see if I can clean this look up that's better it's given me a defined crease now I'm 
going to um, get my fluffy brush, which has just got a tiny bit of pigment on, go into that coral, and I'm going to put that coral all over the lid. Like that. I'm then going to go back to my eye contour brush, and without adding any more pigment, I'm just going to run that just below the lash line so we've got a little bit of definition and then I'm going to get my foundation brush just a brush that I used this morning and I'm just going to clean that edge up got quite a bit of fallout which is unusual I hardly ever get any fallout like that just clean that up a little bit okay now I want to add a shimmer shade and I'm going to go in with that middle one there or should I go in with that peachy one just to go over yeah I think that's what I'm going to do because I've got that beautiful coral on the lid I'm going to go into this one which was that sheerer shimmer I think if I go over with that that's going to just wipe out all of that coral so I'm going to go into and it's the fourth one along and you're going to see I'm really rubbing and you get you do get a nice sheen but on my finger there's hardly any pigment so what I'm going to do is just pop that over the top and I think it's one of those shimmers that is more like a topper rather than you know a really in your face colour. It's like it gives you a sheen on any colour that you have on your lid which is exactly what it's done. So again on the other lid Yeah, it's very, very pretty because it just adds a nice little shimmer to the colour that you've got on your lid. So yeah, I really love that about Revolution. They really give us so many different kind of formulas. Love that. Okay. Got any more fallout? No. But it hasn't, um, you know, it hasn't streaked or anything like that. Now I'm going in with, and this is a 250 pencil and powder smudge brush, also from Primark. And this time I'm going to go in with this shade here. So it's that shade. Really, really love the look of that on the actual swatch. And I'm not going in too heavy because this is pigmented. Looks absolutely beautiful. That has worked very, very nice, nicely. It looks very pretty. It's one of those thicker formulas. So basically, I suppose I've probably gone back to front because that one I would probably usually put into the inner corner and then that one on the inner corner on the lid. But because that coral peachy shade and it matches so, so well with my top, um, I really wanted, and that's obviously why I put this top on as well, uh, because I knew that it had that pop of colour. Um, and I think that that shimmer has really worked beautifully on the lid. Okay, I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Revolution and it's the HD Smoky Waterproof, Waterproof Gel Liner. This is actually sold out at the moment. This is three pounds. If you want an eyeliner that lasts, then I would certainly sign up for email notification or of course do check out the Superdrug site to see if it's available there. But if you're outside of the UK, then obviously do sign up for email notifications and uh, when this becomes available again. Oh, 
hardly need to, you don't need to press on or anything. absolutely love that eyeliner. And of course, I'm going in with the Mascara Revolution. I'm still using this one up. I'm trying to move on to the waterproof um, or wanting to, to really test that out for you. Um, but I want to use this one up and I'll probably be changing this, I suppose, over the next few weeks. You should actually change your mascara at least every three months. And I think I'm probably due a change up, I think. just making sure that every lash is totally covered. I'm going to put it on the bottom line as well. I've actually, I usually don't put mascara on my bat bottom lash line because I get a lot of, um, because I've got oily, whoops, I've, because I've got oily skin, I tend to find that I get a lot of, you know, you know, um, black down here from the mascara, but um, I'm finding even with this, and this is not waterproof, I'm not having that issue at all. Um, I've got black all over my hands. I'm just going to wipe that off. I don't know if it's the eyeliner or mascara, but anyway. So that is my completed look. Let me just take my hair out. Oh. I must admit, when I looked at this, I actually thought that this palette had the least cohesive colour story. It was a little bit of a mishmash of shades. You had cools, you had, um, you know, warm neutrals, and then you had some silvers even there, and then you had that pop of corally kind of peachy coral. And I thought, wow, this is not that cohesive. How is it going to work? This is just like a neutral palette with that pop. But actually, um, you know, the look that I've created, I am in love with. And I love the fact that you've got that sheerer shade just to go over that coral. So I really, really love this look. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Absolutely love it. The pigmentation is certainly there um, from most of the shades. I would say, like I said, I had to double up with that lilac grey. Um, and some of the shimmers are extremely intense. You saw that in the swatches and certainly that matte there, um, which is, is it the one I used? Yeah, it's the one that I used actually on the inner corner. No, the crease um, for definition. But yeah, really, really love this look. Of course, I would love your thoughts on not only this palette, um, I would also love your thoughts on the look. Have you got the Sultry palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this one as well? And what are your thoughts? Do you feel that they are very, very similar? I won't be purchasing that palette, so I won't be doing a comparison review between the two because, you know, 43, 46, however much it is, a little bit expensive for one video, um, just to say, you know, that this is similar. From looking at the pictures, I really feel that the colour story between the two is very, very similar. And I'm sure that I've created a very similar look to what I would have, um, you know, if I used that palette. So I'm very, very pleased. It's a little bit deeper, but it works very well with the top that I'm wearing and the lipstick absolutely love it so yeah your thoughts are most welcome as always and of course if you have just stumbled across my channel because you were looking for a review for the hypnotic palette i would absolutely love it if you stayed around to a subscribe to watch further videos i've got another two palettes to share with you the initial video where i'm showing you around all four palettes and i'm testing out one of them i will link that down below for you but i'll of course be back tomorrow with the third palette from the reloaded collection and i'm Till then, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.